I'm Jana Hector. Welcome to the weekend edition of National Focus. Coming up on National Focus, Prime Minister Skerritt speaks of the importance of education to his government, teachers celebrated at a Teachers Day rally held on Friday, and Syrah joins the fight against black cigatoka disease. Stay with us as we bring you details of these stories and more when National Focus returns. Welcome back. Time now for the details of the news. The Ministry of Education, which adopted an Every Child Succeeds policy towards learning, is still focused on that objective, says Chief Education Officer Stevenson Hyacinth. The education official explained the aim of that approach. The vision, Every Learner Succeeds, directs the strategic imperative of the ministry. It compels all of us who are part of this ministry to work towards improving quality, to work towards involving students in the whole process of teaching and learning, in providing a stimulating child-centered environment that raised the attainment and improved the output of the educational system. The vision places the success of learners as a result of the experiences in the learning environment at the very core of the aim of education. It clearly defines our purpose and we have taken up the challenge. Principals and teachers have their role to play in the scheme to educate Dominica's young people. Hyacinth says the role is to cultivate in students a desire to learn. Our expectation is that all principals and teachers would be inspired to ensure that we nurture the curiosity in all our students, give them the passion to pursue the talent, the confidence to unlock the treasures that lie within, and the opportunity to improve their lives and transform not only Dominica, but the world. As efforts continue to manage and contain the spread of the black cigatoka disease, Agriculture Minister Honorable Matthew Walter on Wednesday, along with officials from the Ministry of Agriculture, visited some farms to assess the current condition of the deadly disease. Black cigatoka is a leaf spot disease of banana and plantain plants caused by a fungus. Plants with leaves damaged by the disease may have up to 50% lower yield of fruit. The fungal disease causes dark leaf spots that eventually enlarge and coalesce, causing much of the leaf area to turn yellow and brown. Minister for Agriculture Honorable Matthew Walter during the field trip identified a concern. He spoke about the issue of abandoned fields and how they can contribute to the downfall of banana production. I have also made the observation in relation to abandoned fields and um, the farmers who are responsible for the um, abandoned fields, they must get rid of the abandoned fields because the abandoned fields are infested with black cicatoka. I saw it with my own eyes and, um, and this is not a joke because, 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 because the whole economy um, well, not entirely, but partially hinges, you know, you know, on the survival of the banana and planting industry in Dominica, and by extension, the agriculture sector. So farmers must understand the seriousness of 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 black cigatoka, and um, they must expedite the process to ensure that they do what is right in order for us to be able to to apply to apply the chemicals to control black cicatoka in Dominica. In related news, CIRAD, a French research center that works with developing countries to tackle international agricultural development, has joined Dominica in efforts to combat the black cigatoka on island. The government of France, through a project called Interreg, Project for Sustainable Development of Banana in the Windward Islands of Martinique and Guadeloupe, is collaborating to fight against the black cigatoka. Claire Amar, representative of CIRAD, spoke with ministry officials on Wednesday. Her presence in Dominica served to assess four hybrid banana species that are resistant varieties to the black cigatoka. We have in charge to assist you uh, against uh, black cigatoka 
to uh, assist uh, the banana industry. And uh, I have in charge to introduce new varieties resistance. Uh, they are new, new hybrids from CIRAD and they, are, they present uh, partial resistance to black cigatoka. So fruits could be harvested for uh, local markets and uh, regional markets. Uh, and we have to, um, we, we work with uh, the team of the ministry to organize the assessment of the evaluation uh, of the assessment of the, the resistance in tropical and humid conditions. She stated that Dominica has done very well in the experimental process and she looks forward to further collaboration. We want to organize some uh, consumption tests, some gustatory tests, uh, to see, uh, to observe if fruits are, uh, uh, could be accept, accepted uh, by the consumers in Dominica or in other countries like uh, Barbados or Trinidad, because uh, Dominica uh, exports to Barbados, Trinidad and others. Minister for Agriculture, Honorable Matthew Walter, thanked CIRAD and other institutes for their assistance. We are happy that we have the partners who are working very closely with us to ensure that Black Sigatoka is managed and contained in Dominica. So we need to applaud and laud the effort of CIRAD um, who has been with us f even before we detected black Sikatoka in Dominica. And um, we need to extend our gratitude to them, you know, for um, taking the responsibility um, to do the relevant tests um, in order to confirm the black Sikatoka in Dominica. I also need to um, applaud the tripartite um, approach of um, FAO, AICA, and CADI. You know, they too have been doing a tremendous um, task in working together and to ensure that, you know, Black Sigatoka within the OECS, you know, is put under serious control. In other news, Chief Education Officer Stevenson Hyacinth has stated that the Ministry of Education will not excuse laissez-faire attitudes in educators. Hyacinth was speaking to the Excellence in Education Award ceremony on Thursday when he emphasized that every teacher and principal is capable of good work, therefore nothing less is expected. The Excellence in Education Award clearly shows that we are able to identify our outstanding principals and teachers. We know who they are and at which schools they impact the lives of students. In like manner, we know those among us who are falling short of our expectations. This activity is a clear indication that as a ministry, we'll not sit idly by and allow these principals and teachers to pursue an agenda of complacency and inefficiency in the system. Our distinguished principals and teachers have shown us that dramatic school and student improvement is challenging, but it can be done. These excellent principals and teachers reinforce the notion that all schools can be effective, all principals can be exceptional, all teachers can be outstanding, but it does not come without hard work, a love for children, a thirst for success and a willingness to go the extra mile. Mr. Hyacinth then urged each educator to endeavor for distinction. Only effective teachers led by effective principals can translate aspirations and policies into concrete and innovative programs and creative activities that will impact students for the better. Striving for excellence by all our principals and teachers is not a desire for only a few, but rather it is a necessity for all. Meanwhile, at the Excellence in Education Awards on Thursday, Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt spoke of how crucial education is to his government.
The Prime Minister believes that key to economic growth is a functional workforce which can only come from a sound education policy. Honorable Skerritt gave an illustration of just how important education is when in the face of economic difficulty, it was suggested that a number of schools with small populations be shut down. In 2004, a study was done to close certain small schools in Dominica. And the World Bank came to me, I remember very clearly uh, Ms. Robinson, came to me to say that the World Bank supports this initiative to close certain small schools in Dominica. And they said they knew that I was very much opposed to the closure of small schools. So I told Ms. Robinson, well, look, let us take a drive to Bells. So I put her in a government's vehicle. I drove. And I said to her, well, you know the distance from Bells to Marigot. And you know the distance from Bells to Mao. If I were to close a small school, which is the heartbeat of the community, where should I send those students to school? And I sit there this, this, this morning, and I see the accolades that have been showered upon a small school, which was part of the program to, of, of small schools, the Dodan Primary School. Because Dodan was identified as one of the small schools for closure. And so was, I believe, the Thibault Primary School, too. But rest assured, this government, which I have the honor to lead, shall never, ever close any so-called small school in Dominica. Honorable Skerritt then told educators that education should be just as important to them and they should take their tasks seriously at every educational level. I expect you to play a part in ensuring that all students are able to reach their full potential and be successful in life, at work, and in society. You are serving at a time when the government of Dominica, through the Ministry of Education, has embarked on an ambitious program to provide early childhood education for all children between three to five years of age. I mention this because I know that as educators, you will agree with me that it is important to place emphasis on education at this very early stage because we do not want to miss the opportunity to impact the lifelong learning of our children at this impressionable age. The island's teachers were at the center of attention on Friday when the Dominica Association of Teachers celebrated Teachers' Day with a rally on the Poray playing field in Point Michel. The rally also served to salute a few noteworthy teachers for long service to the profession. Those teachers were Celia Blaise for 40 years of service, Rosilia Libla, 39 years, Bernice Leslie for 37 years, Anita Roy for 34, and Athelstein Seraphine for 36 years as a teacher. Special mention was made of Georgiana Richards, who has been a teacher for nine years. The theme for Teachers' Day this year was Take a Stand for Teachers, and Acting Education Minister Honorable Justina Charles told the gathering exactly what it means to take a stand. Taking a stand for teachers means that we need to return to the times when teachers were treasured members of our community who held elevated status because of the importance of the work that they did, because of the way they held on to their responsibilities, because of the teacher-parent relationship that existed in and out of the classroom, because of the interest demonstrated in the well-being of students, teachers, and teachers, and the high level of conduct that was displayed by teachers, parents, and students collectively. These are the prerequisites for partnership that is required in order to take that unanimous stand for teachers, not only for the benefit of teachers and students, but for society. Parliamentary representative for the Sufria constituency, Honorable Sam Martin, had these sentimental words for the teachers. Dear teachers, I applaud you for your tremendous work that you do with so little resources. I personally take a stand for you, 
for indeed you deserve that and much more. Congratulations to all of our teachers, particularly those from my constituency who will be recognized today by the DAT. As you celebrate your achievements and socialize with one another, be reminded that the first teacher, Jesus, will continue to shower his blessings on you as you devote your lives to nurturing the little ones entrusted in your care. The featured speaker for the occasion who hails from the area was Wynant Adrian Roberts, who spoke to the teachers of their role as a link between the community and education. She told them that teachers do more than just teach academic subjects. If we appreciate the value of a teacher in our society, then that relationship, for want of a better word, between teacher and society must be sound. We must remedy whatever damage that has been done to that relationship. The internet has reduced students' reliance on teachers for answers to questions. And now there is a perception that the instructive role of the teacher has diminished. But a teacher's role does not end at teaching academics. There are so many other moral and social issues that children must now grapple with. Also honored at that ceremony were 16 students who represented Dominica in the Caribbean Union of Teachers 14th Students Athletic Championships held in Jamaica earlier this year. And that's the English segment of the news. We now join Marcus in St. Louis for the Creole highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole. Non moins, c'est Marcus in St. Louis. Premièrement, Premier Ministre Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, quand vous avez assez d'hommes pour promouvoir des choses positives, qui peuvent avancer le développement du pays. Honorable Skerritt fait parole cela pendant qu'il a délivré une adresse en cérémonie pour te ouvrir la célébration en dépendant et puis aussi en cérémonie où la plaisir de te taper le nez. Honorable Skerritt dit que c'est une parole négative qui a pu mon casimé en dedans, qui a bien affecté tout le monde. Et aussi fait parole qui c'est action salam qui est bien affecté négion pays là. On a besoin de créer car qui a ces populations pour parler contre pour goé qui cap en place en pays là contre State College Dominique trois national white coublé et puis bâtiment State House trois exemples bagay positive qui cap en place en pays là. Premier ministre en bagay développement fait parole des projets qui qui pour bâtir en la coublé et puis en Emsol. Ces projets là en parmi d'autres, c'est un faux gouvernement pour faire d'hommes taper caille, yo ça à Ford. En notre nouvelle directeur agricole, M. Rick Brumand, qui a fait par Wall qui Venezuela qui a financé un abattoir pour Dominique. Si le directeur Brumand, tout mes est déjà mis en place pour faciliter cela. Abattoir là, pas quand il vient qu'on casse le gouvernement Venezuela qui a bâti. Nous nous ne pouvons mettre en place euh, ces bêtes là pour 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 nous servir un abattoir là. Nous avons parlé contre euh, 13 000 cochons, peut-être cochons pour abattoir là, peut-être des millions euh, poules pour pour nous nous, nous tuer un, un, un process un abattoir ça. So, eh bien, nous ne pouvons mettre euh, plein en place pour faire certain que nous nous ces ces bêtes là assis assis euh, euh, qui s'est habité là, qui est nourri pour, pour nous, ça servi. Le uh, gouvernement Venezuela qui a aidé nous, uh, uh, c'est um, FSC Habitants, avec un type de pour les cochons. Nous avons nous, nous mis un plan pour nous, pour, pour, pour manger pour nous, c'est bête ça aussi. Il y a une manière de faire ça, c'est. Fait sentir que l'argent là pour pour ces habitants ça a tapé pour pour mettre un, un ces projets ça pour pour mettre un pour faire cette abat um, abattoir là ça n'est assez un um, bête pour 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 tuer pour process pour pour mon Dominique Maje. À la nouvelle messieurs mesdames actes du ministère de l'éducation honorable Justine Charles qui a fait parole qui tient bien important en société là honorable Charles fait parole cela qu'on tient chaque journée à pression à yo et puis journée internationale jodia ministre éducation chain ceremony ou la plaisir teacher tapé recognition pour travail ayo
Vous êtes des gens qui sont bien, bien importants en société. So, nous avons besoin de dire yo, comment nous sommes bien contents de ce que nous avons fait. Et nous les encourager yo, pour yo, continuer ce cas de travail. Ça, là. Parce que nous savons que les gens qui vivent en place, ça, là. pour en partie, ils ont fait un travail meilleur. Là où ils ont apprécié ce que nous avons fait, ils ont fait un travail meilleur. Nous partons chaque fois que nous vivons en côté, nous avons d'accord, nous avons vécu et nous ne pouvons pas continuer. Donc so, nous les encourager yo, pour continuer le travail, pour mettre que so, nous ça développe nous nous en pays là et ben nous ça développe société nous même so, nous même en gouvernement là nous a dit nous les dit ces teachers là happy appreciation day nous les dit make sure you enjoy journée là avec nous can recognize tout avoir là au café nous ça il pas aisé avec les enfants nous because nous ça venir autant challenge au café c'est si eux même mais nous les dit au chef et avec continuer tout avoir là au café et ben nous les dit au grand merci pour tout ça au café et puis finalement association moun et puis des habilités dominique ca complimenté gouvernement dominique pour ratification convention moun et puis des habilités en dominique ratification ça la prend place semaine passée en cabinet Selon un Power Hot Association, ça c'est un de ses plus gros achievements pour le mouvement des habilités en Dominique. Il a aussi fait Power comme ça même. C'est un gros cadeau pour eux. Et puis, il a célébré l'achievement de ça, anniversaire à eux, à ce le 26 mois. L'association a aussi fait Power qui a fait travail et le gouvernement pour l'implémentation de la convention. Merci, mesdames. Ça, c'est tout pour nous voir en créole pour à présent. Non moins, c'est Mark Fusson, c'est Lewis. Et un bon week-end. Au revoir. Thank you, Mark Fusson. Stay tuned for Flashback, where we bring you all the headline stories of the week with Pearl Fontaine. Welcome to this week's edition of Flashback. In the headlines this week, Chinese Shaz de Fer, Kwei Weiwei, hosted a reception in celebration of the 63rd anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China at the embassy in Mont Daniel. And over 40 teachers and principals were awarded for their exemplary leadership and passion this week when the annual Excellence in Education Awards was held at the Arawak House of Culture. Displays of Dominica's cultural talents by groups and individuals, both young and old, officially launched the Island Independence 2012 season, which is all about community spirit and cooperation among citizens as the island celebrates 34 years of independence. This week saw the 12th anniversary of the death of Prime Minister Roosevelt Douglas, whose life continues to impact significantly on the Dominican landscape. Minister for Community Development, Honorable Gloria Schillingford, this week applauded Dominicans overseas who continue to contribute to Dominica's progress. The planned quarantine unit of the Ministry of Agriculture in collaboration with CARICOM has put in place a working group to deal with invasive species which have caused significant economic difficulties for Dominica and the rest of the region. The Prime Minister announced this week that construction will soon begin on two massive housing compounds in Bath Estate and Emsol that will provide comfortable and low-cost accommodation for about 60 families. And finally, Agriculture Minister Honourable Matthew Walter and officials from the Ministry of Agriculture set out on a field trip on Wednesday to talk with farmers about the pest management system, policies and regulations for the management of Black Sikatoka. Those were the headline stories which made the news this week. Back to you, Jana. Thank you, Pearl. Up next is the tip of the day. Hello, I'm Felix Anderson, afternoon, and I'm here to tell you why it's better to buy your bad bread looking like this and not like Yabasak, Apiginapuk, Akatina bag. Come on, if it's bagged, it's got to be tagged. Let me show you what I mean. Hello, ma'am. Can you tell me what's in that bag? So you're not seeing it's a brown bread? It looks like one, but you sure it's a brown bread? Yes. Eh? You have face looking like the brown bread. Brown and proud. If it's bagged, it's got to be tagged. Bakers, consumers, and retailers, please ensure that all your bagged bakery products clearly display brand name, product name, batch number, net contents, country of origin, list of ingredients, expiry date, identification code and other important information about the product. Check the Dominica Bureau of Standards for details. So, am I right or 
Am I right? A way to instantly build self-confidence is to speak up. During group discussions, many people never speak up because they're afraid that people will judge them for saying something stupid. But this fear isn't really justified. Generally, people are much more accepting than we imagine. In fact, most people are dealing with the exact same fears. By making an effort to speak up at least once in every group discussion, you'll become a better public speaker, you'll also become more confident in your own thoughts, and be recognized as a leader by your peers. And that's National Focus. As usual, we invite your suggestions or comments. Please feel free to drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website at news.gov.dm. Or you could visit our GIS Dominica pages on both YouTube and Facebook. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm Jana Hector. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Hello, I'm Felix Anderson, afternoon, and I'm here to tell you why it's better to buy your bad bread looking like this and not like Jabasak, Apiginapuk, Akatina Bag. Come on, if it's bagged, it's got to be tagged. Let me show you what I mean. Excuse me, ma'am, you know if that bread is fresh? Of course it's fresh. I buy it every day. But you, you sure, 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 it's fresh. You look fresh. Excuse me. But look at If it's bagged, it's got to be tagged. Bakers, consumers, and retailers, please ensure that all your bagged bakery products clearly display brand name, product name, batch number, net contents, country of origin, list of ingredients, expiry date, identification code, and other important information about the product. Check the Dominica Bureau of Standards for details. So, am I right or am I right? Hey, I'm calling out to all Dominicans to embrace our culture. Not just once or twice a year, but all year round. We have a rich and unique culture that no one can equal to. Our booyah music, our vibrant dances, our Creole language and exquisite cuisine. It's all ours. Taste it, speak it, hear it, touch it, feel it, share it, live it. I am Sheldon Alfred, the Junior Calypso Monarch 2011, and I am Dominica. Are you?